Welcome to the BEAM tutorial for the ISAT Dock Marine. In this video, we will be going through a brief overview of setting up and using your ISAT Dock Marine. The items in the box. The ISAT Dock Marine, the DC power cable, the AC plug pack, the two meter alert loop, the Leo Track Online sign up card, the user manual and quick start guide, two handset locking keys, two wall mount security bolts and two grommets. The privacy handset springless cup for either desk or wall mounting positions. The spring cup is also fitted to the ISAT Dock Marine and is used for rough conditions. To change a privacy handset cup, remove the cup cover, remove the three screws to release the cup. Fit the required handset cup and replace the cup cover. In this video, it will show how to connect the ISD 710 Marine Active Antenna. At the top of the ISAT Dock Marine, there is an SMA connector, the small gold connector on the right, and a satellite connector, the large silver connector on the left. The antenna cables have matching connectors. The GPS SMA connector, the small gold connector on the left, and the TNC female antenna cable, the large silver connector on the right. You can then easily screw the cabling into the unit. Avoid over tightening any antenna connectors. At the other end, you will need to connect the same cables to the ISD 710 Maritime Active Antenna. Here we will connect the antenna cable labelled INMARSAT to the SMA antenna connector labelled ISAT. Then connect the antenna cable labelled GPS to the SMA antenna connector labelled GPS. You must ensure the antenna is positioned correctly with no obstructions or tall structures that could block the signal between the antenna and the satellites. We have further videos in relation to antenna placement for your reference. At the rear of the dock is a wall mounting plate. Slide the plate down to release it. To access the rear connector bay, remove the seven screws and lift off the rear panel. The rear connector bay has five ports. USB data port, alert loop port, RJ11 POTS port, DC power and accessory input port, RJ9 privacy handset port. Connecting power. The connection at the rear of the ISAT Dock Marine is for insertion of a four-way microfit connector. Of the two cables available, there is a DC connection which plugs into the back of the ISAT Dock Marine and then connects to the DC power source. Firstly, to connect to the DC power source, the DC power cable has three wires, black, yellow and red. When connecting the wires, route the wire end of the DC cable to the connection point. Connect the black wire to the negative terminal of the battery. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal of the battery. Connect the yellow wire to a switch. If the sleep function is not required, the yellow wire must be connected to the red wire permanently. Secondly, you have the option to install using a 110 to 240 volt plug pack. Refit the wall mounting plate to the rear of the dock. Slide the plate up into the lock position. The buttons on the dock will light up once the power has been connected. To prepare the ISAT Phone Pro to be inserted into the dock, turn the phone over and open the antenna connector cover. The cover needs to be opened and turned 90 degrees to the left as shown here. At the base of the ISAT Phone Pro, there is a cover that needs to be opened. Open the cover and pull it out completely. The cover should be on a 90 degree angle from the phone as shown here. Align the ISAT Phone Pro with the phone tray. Press the top of the phone down and when it clicks into place, you know that your phone is inserted correctly. Do not force the ISAT Phone Pro at any time as this may damage the connectors on the dock or on the phone. Once connected, the screen on the ISAT Phone Pro will turn on. The ISAT Dock Marine will then register to the Inmarsat network and acquire GPS lock. 
This can take up to two minutes. Once registered, the screen will display a message ready for service. The status LED will be illuminated green. Close the marine cover by pressing down until it clicks into place. From here, you can start to make calls successfully. This has been a video tutorial by Beam Communications. For more information, go to our website www.beamcommunications.com.